welcome my little turtle friend right here. Welcome to Kleshka Picks, week two everybody. I know, I know, different setting. I'm just really busy this week, so I'm literally fitting this in with any time I can find. It's probably gonna go a little quick this week for Kleshka Picks. I'm probably not gonna dive in too much to these games because I just got a lot. I literally, I got probably like an hour to be here, film this, and then go to what I gotta do next. Probably tell, I'm going to an Angels game later today. But right now, let's just focus on the Kleshka Picks. Starting with the Thursday game, the Panthers and the Buccaneers. Both of these teams lost last week. Both of them really did not look amazing. I got some ducks coming up on me right here. Shoot, hold on a second. Okay, anyways, Jimmy Swinston just did not look good for the Buccaneers. And Cam really didn't look that good either. Even though they scored 27 points, I think Christian McCaffrey was a huge part of that. But I think the Panthers will come out on top. I think they got the better offense flowing right now. 16 to 10. Ravens and Cardinals. The Ravens destroyed the Dolphins. That's about all you need to know. Lamar Jackson went off. Uh, Mark Ingram had a great debut as a Raven. And Kyler Murray and the Cardinals, they started off cold. Looked like the Lions were going to win easily. And then they changed that game around in the second half. And Kyler Murray let it come back. It almost was completed. He had a defender who dropped an interception, which would have been the game winner. Would have put them in field goal position easy. That really hurt their chances for that win. But Kyler Murray looked impressive late in the second half. And they tied it. They cannot get a win. They tied it. But in this game, I think the Ravens are going to win. They got the hot hand. I think they're going to win 24 to 13. The Chargers and the Lions. The Chargers, they got an overtime win over the Colts and the Lions were part of that tie. The Chargers have a good offense with Melvin Gordon or not. Austin Eckler has stepped up and been that great replacement that they need. And the Lions, they blew it. They had a win and then they ended up getting a tie. I'm sure they would have loved the W. But here, I think the Chargers have a better all-around team defensively and offensively. So I think the Chargers are going to win 23 to 17. Colts and the Titans. The Titans beat the Browns. A lot of people saw the Browns were going to be great. And oh, they got Odell Beckham now. Come out with Jarvis Landry. Baker Mayfield's first full year. And they disappointed. They performed like the Browns. The Titans stomped all over them. Derrick Henry, the whole entire team. Marcus Mariota's passing well. This week, I think the Titans are going to beat the Colts. I think it's going to be 30 to 20. And I do just want to say again, sorry if I'm going fast. I just got a really busy week. I'm really fitting this in for you guys. I got to get it out. So that's why I'm doing this here. That's why I'm speeding it up a little bit so I can fit in everything else for the week. It all involves the videos. So hey, anything to boost the channel and keep it going and get everything done. 49ers and the Bengals. The Bengals played my Seahawks and I honestly thought they were going to be a lot worse than they were. We barely beat them. We beat them by one point. The 49ers, they beat the Buccaneers pretty easily. I thought the Bengals were going to underperform. I thought Andy Dalton was going to have a bad game, especially playing in Seattle against my Seahawks. And with Jadavian Clowney now added to the defense, I did not think he was going to play the way he was. He is currently the passing yards leader. Yeah, Andy Dalton. But I don't think they will get a victory again. I think the 49ers will win 26 to 24. Jaguars. Texans. The Texans lost to the Saints on a last second game winning field goal by Will Lutz. That last minute in the Saints and Texans game was insane. One of the most entertaining games, minutes of week one. And then we had the Jaguars who have already lost their quarterback that they were hoping would lead them to victory and that's Nick Foles. He has broken his clavicle. He is out for I think like seven weeks. That noise that stopped back there, some guys are water fountains. You might have been able to see them. I think you can barely see the lake right there. But anyways, now it just looks like it's doom for the Jaguars. And Deshaun Watson didn't play bad in that Monday night game. So I'm gonna give it to the Texans, 33 to 13. Well, that didn't last long. The fountain's already back on and now I know you guys can see it. It's right there. Anyways, Vikings and Packers. Packers won in a low scoring game against the Bears. The Bears defense, they kept them to 10 points, but hey, that was enough for the Packers because they kept the Bears to three points. The Vikings, dude, they had the Falcons number. The Falcons were turning the ball over. They were not playing good football. Simple enough, I think the Vikings are gonna win 27 to 23 over the Packers. Seahawks and Steelers. Steelers played the Patriots, and wow, did they look bad. No more Antonio Brown, no more Le'Veon Bell, and it does not look good. Ben is aging, he's getting older, and they just traded away one of their quarterbacks. So clearly they still have faith in Ben, but he's getting up there in age, and I don't know how much you can trust him for the rest of the season. The Seahawks barely escaped with a victory over the Bengals, 21 to 20. 
this week, I think since the Seahawks, you know, they got a victory and they got a younger quarterback and a younger offense in general. The defense is solid. I think the Seahawks will win 24 to 17. Giants and Bills. Bills had a comeback win against the Jets last week and the Giants lost to the Cowboys. The Cowboys had it all together. Ezekiel Elliott, even though he barely played, he's on a snap count because he sat out like the entire off season, but he still found the end zone. Dak Prescott was on fire. The dude had a great game. He's going to get a big contract soon, I'm sure. And let's see the Bills. I think riding with their victory, even though both teams, actually no, the Giants, they lost. I was going to say both teams got a victory. Riding the Bills' victory, and they're a younger team. Eli Manning, and same with Ben Roethlisberger. I don't know how much longer he'll be starting quarterback for the Giants. Daniel Jones could take that over. And I think the Bills are going to come up with the victory 20 to 17. There you go. The fountain stopped again. Cowboys and Redskins. The Redskins, they lost on a comeback win led by Carson Wentz and basically Deshaun Jackson. Two 50-yard bonds got the offense going. Carson Wentz, I'm really hoping he has a great year because he's my fantasy quarterback. And then what was the other team? It was the Cowboys who we just talked about. Zeke and Prescott, they already look like they're in rhythm. The Fountains have already come back on. I don't know why they keep flipping them on and off like that. Anyways, the Cowboys definitely are the better offense and they got a great offensive line. They've always been known for that in this era. And I think they are going to have no problem beating the Redskins. And I think the score will be 28 to 20. Patriots and Dolphins. This one should be a cakewalk for the Patriots and a cakewalk for my guests. I know you guys, it's pretty obvious who's going to win. Dolphins fans, I'm sorry. The Ravens obliterated you 59 to whatever. And now the Patriots are here to play you. And now they also have Antonio Brown. So led by Tom Brady and the fact that he just owned the Steelers, I think he'll have no problem beating the Dolphins. I think the final score of this game will be 41 to 13. Chiefs and Raiders. Raiders got a win on Monday night over the Broncos and the Chiefs. You know, they just easily beat the Jaguars. When you have Patrick Mahomes at quarterback, he does everything so easily, easily it seems like. Even though he could be missing Tyreek Hill because Tyreek Hill suffered an injury, but he's Patrick Mahomes and he's an MVP type quarterback and he doesn't have to rely on having an elite receiver. He can get the job done because he's an elite quarterback. It's going to be very tough for me to pick against the Chiefs this year, so I will say the Chiefs will win 30-17. to Saints and Rams, now this game. This game. Remember what happened last year in the playoffs with the Saints and Rams? Saints fans, I'm sure, have not forgotten. They didn't forget in week one. They were saying, like, uh, I saw signs all over the place. It said, we did not forget. We will get revenge. Because the rest, yeah, screwed them over, basically, in that game against the Rams. And it's going to be an insane game. I understand why this matchup was made. I don't know if it just happened to fall that they would play each other this year. But, or if the NFL just went, yeah, we're definitely having a rematch between these two teams. I think the Saints are driven. They are motivated definitely by that playoff game. And I think that is going to help them get the victory because they definitely look like the better offense last week over the Rams. When it's Rams and Saints compared to the week one offense, I think the Saints looked better because the first half was kind of shaky for the Saints, but then the second half they turned it on. And I think they're going to keep it turned on and put the pedal to the metal and win 35-24. to Bears and Broncos. The Bears lost to the Packers. The Broncos lost to the Raiders. The Broncos offense really can never get going. The run game, the pass game, they just could not find it. Same with the Bears. Both of these teams struggling for offense. I think they'll both find better offense this week, but I think the Bears are the better team. They got a better defense. They have a better quarterback, I would say. Mitch Trubisky, yeah, and definitely the better quarterback over Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco has the same problem as Eli Manning and Ben Roethlisberger. He's just getting up there in age. Sorry if I keep turning around, by the way. Just checking to make sure no ducks or geese sneak up behind me. Anyways, I think the Bears will win 23-16. Eagles and Falcons. The Eagles had that great comeback win led by Carson Wentz that I mentioned earlier. And the Falcons just forgot how to play football. They were so shaky, not off to a good start, not off on the right foot for the Falcons. And because of those differences, like how bad the Falcons started and how good the Eagles started, I'm gonna give the Eagles the victory. I think Carson Wentz is not affected by his injury. He looked like he was playing well in week one. And I think he's gonna play well this week as well. I think it's gonna be close, but I think the Eagles come out on top, 27 to 24. And finally, the Browns and the Jets. So the Browns, they disappointed. Everybody had these expectations for them and 
and they let us down. The Jets, they allowed a comeback win by the Bills, and I think it's going to be a close game. And if I'm not mistaken, Baker Mayfield's debut was against the Jets correctly, and he shined, if I remember correctly. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But I think it will be a close game. I think both teams are driven to get a victory because, you know, the Browns were totally, like, gonna be this huge team and so many people are expecting them to do great things and they let them down so they're driven by that they don't want to do that again they want to show that the talent they have on this team can do great things and the Jets they had a victory locked up and time minute by minute minute by minute they let it go and the Bills won that game so both of these teams are upset and want a victory however I think the Browns are gonna get the victory I think they've got the better team yeah I would say and I think it's just gonna be close I think the Browns are gonna win 24 to 23 and with the Fallons recently turning on again these things go off like every two minutes on off on off anyways thank you so much for watching Clutch Good Picks week two I hope you enjoyed my picks and you know, leave your picks down below let me know who you think is gonna win each game win each game and you know I just want to say guys that I'm not trying to talk trash on anyone's team this is just a week to week thing I think who's the better team and who I think is gonna win I'm not trying to talk trash I'm not trying to bad i just have fun guessing the games and yeah i just love doing it so i just want to let you guys know that i have no anger towards anyone's team it's just a fun thing to do and i know some of you get feel like you're insulted by it when i say certain things but it's just all for fun and thank you so much for watching all right i'll see you next time